This screencast is designed to show the principles of creating hotspots uh, over an image in Word. And this is a technique that's uh, as part of the JISC Tech Disc Accessible Essential Packs. Uh, and it's a very, very easy way of enhancing an image within a resource to make it more accessible uh, for some learners. So here I've got an image in a Word document. But what I've done is I've added additional information. So when I hover the mouse over parts of it, you get this little pop-up note appearing. So that says pad of paper. If I go there, it tells me it's the LCD screen, buttons, pen, etc. And this is very simple and easy to create, and I'll show you how to do it. So the way that we do it is we first of all need to insert our image. What we then need to do is we need to draw a shape um, on top of one of the uh, parts that you want to label. I'm going to label the zip. Now I could use a regular shape from up here, or I can use the freeform shape, which is what I'm going to use in this case. So the freeform shape, uh, I just start at one point and then I just move around the edge and I keep clicking as I go to kind of like every time I get to a corner and it will allow me to draw an irregular shape. So I just got to keep moving the mouse and clicking and then when I get back to the um, to the beginning, it will complete the shape for me. What I then need to do is I'm going to add a hyperlink to that shape and I'm just going to choose top of document. Now the key here is that the hyperlink is not the, the important part. We're not actually going to link anywhere, but up here we have the option of a screen tip. So when I have a screen tip, this is the text that appears. So all I have to do is type in here what information I want to appear. So I've chose top of the document because the image is at the top of the document. If it wasn't at the top of the document, then I'd have to add a bookmark um, and, then, and then point to itself so that it doesn't actually jump anywhere if they click on it. But if I now click on OK, as I hover over that, you see the word zip appearing. Then all I need to do is make this image uh, so that it's uh, invisible. So I'm going to right click on it, format auto shape, and I'm going to change this to no color, and I'm going to change the line to no color. So there's no fill and there's no line. Click on OK, so it disappears, but if I hover over it, I've still got the option of the word zip. Okay, and then I've got all the other hyperlinks working accordingly. So it's a very simple technique. Um, if I wanted to, I could actually get the links to click and take me somewhere. Uh, but for this, the purpose is just the idea of hovering. Now, from a learner's perspective, if I've got a diagram with lots of information in it, some learners, um, especially those with disabilities, sometimes just get overwhelmed with the amount of information. So what you can do is provide a simpler a piece of information, a diagram or an image, and then as they hover over it gives them more information if they want it. It's also a good way of having a kind of differentiation. So the learner that understands the topic well can just see the image as kind of a, a revisor or a, a memory jogger, but the learner who has difficulty remembering the components, they can come in and it's the same image, they can just move the mouse around and get additional information. And you can have quite a bit of information in your screen tips, they don't have to be one or two words, you can have a, a few words within there. And it's a good way of labelling diagrams, um, uh, maps, images uh, or photographs like I've used here.